thank the Lord for having the opportunity of being in the house of the Lord one more time. And we magnify him for all the things that he has done. And we stand today in anticipation as to what our great God is going to do. I want to encourage you today, my brothers and sisters, that we are not in this battle alone. The Lord said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And I don't know about you, but I'm embracing, I'm holding on to those particular words. We understand that the Bible says that God cannot lie. He is trustworthy. He is faithful to all that he has said. He has never failed, and we are trusting him in this time of pandemic. I don't know about you, but I still have a praise for the Lord. My hands are still going up. Uh, many times we don't have the opportunity to be on campus, the church proper, as we desire. But I want you to understand, as I've said repeatedly here at Bethany Apostolic Church, take opportunity to make your home a place of sanctuary, a place where you can meditate upon the Word of God, you can pray, and you can sing your songs. I often say many times, I'm singing mine. I may not sing them the way they're supposed to be sung, but I'm rejoicing in the Lord. I'm praying and I'm calling upon the name of the Lord. There's one thing about prayer, my brothers and sisters, is that it has the unique ability to calm your heart in a time of difficulty, time of storm. It means that we rely upon the Lord and not upon ourselves. And of course, that wonderful scripture that is penned by inspiration by King Solomon in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 where it says emphatically, hallelujah to God, that trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not upon thy own understanding. Once we come to the place to realize how valuable that is, and of course it speaks volumes, that we become benefactors, become recipients of that word of God. And of course, in verse 5, he reminds us to acknowledge him in all our ways, and he shall direct our path. So this morning, my brothers and sisters, we are laying aside ourselves that he might be glorified. We're putting aside our problems, our uh, issues, our difficulties, and giving God the glory that he deserves. There's nothing like coming together in a corporate setting to praise and magnify God, but God has put something in our hearts individually that we have the ability to praise God wherever we are. You recall in the book of Acts where uh, the apostles, they were incarcerated, they were in prison, but they had church. And when they had church, I want you to know that God done a marvelous things in their midst. The chains were dropped off of them. And also they had a great revival. This time of pandemic, it does not silence the people of God. This time in pandemic, it does not uh, reduce us from what we are accustomed of doing. It just means that we are doing it in a different way. So this morning, my brothers and sisters, and those that will be on Facebook and YouTube, I want to encourage you that our Lord is still the same. The Bible tells us that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we can certainly take courage and confidence in those particular words. When I feel down, let me look up. The Bible tells us when we're overwhelmed, lead us to that rock that is higher than I. So this morning we come for another purpose than to glorify and magnify the God of our salvation. I don't know about you, but I've got something in my heart, I've got something in my soul that keeps me going on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is that Holy Ghost that he's given us many, many years ago. Hallelujah. And it still has fire that is burning inside of me. Hallelujah. If you believe that, just put your hands together and give God some praise. There's a song that we sing around here. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. 
I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made. The day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord had made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Enter his courts with praise. This is day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord had made. My, 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 my. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Can we say praise the Lord again? Let us say praise the Lord again. Thank the Lord for having the opportunity of just rejoicing in the God of our salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
having the opportunity to come into his court with singing and with praise. And this morning we can reflect upon what God has already done and we can anticipate what he is going to do. Someone made the statement, I don't know who made that, they say you get out what you put in. Can we say praise the Lord? And I don't know about you, but every day that God wakes us up has not allowed our bed to become our grave. We have an opportunity to praise and magnify God. I don't want to let any opportunity pass by without celebrating what God has done and what God is going to do. Can we say hallelujah one more time? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise him, we thank him, we always have a song and a praise in our heart for our God. Can we say hallelujah again? Hallelujah. We're going to ask that co-pastor Floyd would come at this time and lead us in prayer as we sing a little of this song. I need the old, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now. My Savior, I come to Thee. Come on, raise your hand and tell Him. I need the old. I need Thee. time one more time just tell him I need the old I need the every hour I need the oh My Savior, I come to Thee. We certainly want to take time in our prayer this morning, our invocation prayer, to remember those that have lost their lives under this pandemic, this disease, this COVID-19 that God may encourage, that God may wrap his arms around those survivors. And also those that are in the hospitals that are confronting this virus, that God may somehow touch and give healing in the name of Jesus. And take this adversity and turn it around and bring it and make it a, a testimony. And also those that have recently have died and loved ones are left behind, uh, we're praying for them, that God may comfort their heart. Only God can. We can speak a word, we can say something, but only God can come in and calm that storm that has gone on in their heart. So we're praying for those, we're praying for those that have drifted away from the Lord, that the Lord may bring them back. We're praying for the backslider. We're praying for that apostate, that God may turn them around, that they may come to themselves as the prodigal son has come. Those of you that have a prayer request this morning, just raise your hand. Just let the Lord say, Lord, you know, you know, you know that request I have in my heart. You know, you know. Sometimes it's for a family member. It's sometimes it's for a co-worker. But Lord, you know, you know that prayer by raising our hands. At this time, we're going to ask that our assisting pastor, the elder Floyd, would come at this time and lead us to the throne of grace. The elder Floyd, if you will.
several years ago about a little boy dressed in a Star Wars costume, Darth Vader, uh, Vader uniform. Come on, come on, y'all, lead us in prayer. And he was out in the yard playing when his dad pulled up in his car. His dad got out of the car, opened the door, and went into the house. Upon his dad going into the house, this little boy began to play games. So he thought. He would raise his hand and he would do this to the car that was in front of him. And all at once the lights came on when the boy did that. He was, he was somewhat surprised. He did it again and the lights went out. As if he could not understand or believe what he had just done, he did it again the third time. And once again the lights of the car came on. And he did it again the fourth time. And the lights, the headlights of the car, they went out. The camera began to pan around. The camera panned inside the house and showed exactly what was going on. This little boy that was in front of this car with the headlights coming on and off, his dad was inside the house pushing the button on the remote control. I say that to say this, God is in control. God is the one that's pushing the buttons in our lives. Would you all please stand, if you will? Whenever we are down and out, whenever we believe, whenever we believe that there is no hope, God is in control. God knows what buttons to push in our lives. It may not be the buttons that you want him to push, but God knows exactly what he's doing. So, if you will, Let's bow our heads right now. And whatever may be going on in your life, ask God to push those buttons to make everything all right. He may not do it overnight, but he can see further than what we can. Lord God, we thank you right now. We thank you, Lord God, just for knowing what buttons to push in all our lives. As we stand before this altar, Lord God, continue to watch over each and every one. Continue, Lord God, to keep us once again in the palm of your hand, under the protection of your wing. Help us realize, Lord God, that it's you, and only you, Lord God, that can protect us from danger seen and unseen. As we stand here today, Lord God, continue, Lord God, to bless each and every one in the household of faith those that might have the coronavirus, Lord God. Give them the peace of mind. Give them, Lord God, the serenity of knowing that everything would be all right. Help them, Lord God, to be able to keep the faith. They may not understand exactly what's going on in their lives, but Lord God, in the name of Jesus, continue, Lord God, to push the buttons that is in their lives. Continue, Lord God, to move in a mighty, mighty way. Those that feel that they have no hope, reinstill into them, Lord God, a measure of faith. You say that your word, by your word, that if we only had a faith as a grain of mustard seed, Lord God, we would be able to move mountains. Some of us, Lord God, have mountains that need to be moved. And, Lord God, we ask right now, Lord God, continue, Lord God, to bless each and every one under the sound of our voice today. And we will give you the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This time we're going to ask that uh, Deacon Johnson would come at this time and give us a scripture reading. Deacon Johnson, if you will. Let's receive him by saying amen. Deacon Johnson. Praise the Lord, everyone. And greeting in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our scripture reading will be coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. 
and it reads as thus. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That was the book of the gospel according to Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his holy word. Thank, thank you, Deacon Johnson, and for the word that has the ability to calm our heart and our souls. This morning, my brother and sister, I want to remind us that we will be having a giveaway, food giveaway, on the 29th, I believe, 29th. That is either in our parking lot or in Welburn's parking lot, which is right across from uh, Echo. That is on the 29th of this month. So those times are 9 to 1, 9 o'clock to, to 1. We will certainly take opportunity to give advertisement on that on the social media and other means as possible. So once again, to our community, Bethany Apostolic Church will have a food giveaway on the 29th of this month from 9 o'clock to 1, 9 o'clock to 1. So please come out, come out, come out. We are trying to address the needs of our community here at Bethany Apostolic Church. And we are located at 212 Mulberry in the heart of Evansville, Indiana. Our website is bethanyapostolic212.org. Once again, that's bethanyapostolic212.org. Our email is bethanyapostolic212 at gmail.com, bethanyapostolic212 at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to hear from you. Take opportunity to send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We will respond as rapidly as possible. Put it, let us put our hands together again. Give God some praise. And we certainly ask that you would adhere to those announcements. Those members that uh, have pre-existing illnesses, I want you to know this morning that we are praying for you. And when my hand goes up, it's not only for me, but it's going to be for you too. We sang that song, I Cut My Step, it's going to be for you too. And I know that many of you want to be here, but because you can't, we want to send you out a love and a praise to God because we know if you were here, you'd be singing the same songs that we're singing. But a wonderful thing that I want you to consider is why we're singing, sing in your home. Why our hands are going up, raise your hands up, just like you were here with us. And many times I say when you come to church, I come to church to give my God some praise and some glory. Hallelujah. You can do that uh, in your home while you're listening, while you're viewing. Give God some praise. And I believe that the Spirit of God that is in here it also can be in your home. Can we say hallelujah to God? At this time, I'm going to ask that our praise uh, team would come and just give us uh, uh, and the Lord what the Lord has given you. I, I don't know about you, but there's just some times that in my heart, in my heart, I want to just give God some glory and some praise. And so you give God the same thing. We have in Sister Powers and Sister Danielle and Sister Margaret would be singing uh, two, maybe three songs this morning. So we want to give God some glory. We, we're, every, we know everybody's not here, but we want to praise God like the house is full, like there's 5,000 folks here. My, my, my. I don't know. This may be somebody's last time. Mm -mm. So praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Praise God like you never praised God before. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you come to give them glory this morning? Can we all just stand on our feet? We're not going to be up here much uh, long, but we just want you to just praise the Lord with us. Amen. Hallelujah. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. 
We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Come on. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Come on, from the top we come. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. Yes. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Come on. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. Yes. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Come on, give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come. We come to clap our hands. Come on, lift your voice, Zion. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Yes. Come on, we clap our hands. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. Yes. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. We come, we come. We come to clap our hands and give them glory. Come on, we come. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come to clap our hands and give them praise. Come on, somebody need to make some noise in here this morning because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, we come to magnify. We come to magnify and give them glory. Yes. We come to magnify and give them praise. Come on, we come. We come to magnify and give them glory. We come, we come. We come to magnify and give them praise. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come. We come to magnify and give them praise. Give them glory. Give them glory. Hey, yeah. Come on, keep those hands going. Yes, come on, we come, we lift our, we come to lift our hands and send up Judah. Yes, we come to lift our hands and give them praise. Come on, we come to lift our hands and send up Judah. We come, we come, we come to lift our hands and give them praise. Give them glory, give them glory. We come to lift our hands and send up Judah. Yes. We come to lift our hands and give them praise. We come, we come. We come to lift our hands and send up Judah. Come on, we come to lift. We come to lift our hands and give them praise. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come to clap our hands. We come to do our dance. We come to clap our hands. We come to shout glory. We come to clap our hands. We come. We come to clap our hands. 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 We come to do our dance. We come to clap our hands. We come to lift our voice. We come to clap our hands. We come to give him praise. We come to clap our hands. We come to say we love you. We come to clap our hands. We come to say we thank you. We come to clap our hands. We come to say we thank you. We come to clap our hands. We come. We come to clap. Our hands. We come, we come to clap our hands. 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 We come to clap our hands
come to clap our hands. We 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 come to We come to bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And the reason why we come, hallelujah, to lift our hands, the reason why we come to do our dance, the we, reason why we come to shout hallelujah, hallelujah, because he's in this place today. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You are here. You're moving in our midst. I worship you. Ha. Huh. I worship you. You are here. You're turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're mending broken hearts. I worship you, my God. I worship you. You are here ah, performing miracles. I worship you. I worship you. I call you way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Oh, my God. <laughs> Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Come on, join in. You are here. You are here. Moving in the midst. Moving hey, in the midst. Come on, lift your voice. I worship. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here. You're turning lives around. Hey, turning lives around. I worship. I worship you. Father, I worship. I worship you. Come on. You are here. You are here. Broken heart, mending broken Hallelujah. heart. He's here. I worship. I worship you. Oh, I worship. I worship you. Come on, you are here. You are here. Destroying every yoke. Destroying every yoke. I worship. Oh, I worship you. Lord, I worship. I worship. Now come on, everybody, you. join in and say, Waymaker, Waymaker, Miracle Word, Promise Keeper, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, Light in the Darkness. Come on, my, my God. God, that's what I call Him. That is who You are. You are. Oh. Promise keep Hallelujah. Light in the darkness. My God. My God. That is who you are. Come on, you are here. You are here. Moving in our midst. Moving in Glory our to God. midst. I worship. I worship. Come on, did you come to worship him? I worship you. You are here. You are here. Turning lives around. Turning lives around. I worship. I worship you. Come on, Lord. I worship. 
worship you. You are here. You are here. Healing broken heart. Healing broken heart. I worship. I worship you. Lord. I worship you. Come on. You are here. You are here. Every yo, every yo, I worship, I worship you, Father. I worship, I worship you. Come on, lift your voice and tell him, way maker, way maker, miracle word, promise keeper, promise keeper, light in the darkness, light in the darkness. God. My God, I don't know what you're calling. That is That's who, who He is, our waymaker. You are, oh waymaker, waymaker, way miracle worker, miracle worker, promise keeper, promise keeper, light in the darkness, light in the darkness. My God, My God, that is who You are. Come on, one more time, waymaker. Miracle worker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Hallelujah! Light in the darkness, my God, my God that is who you are. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, let's just lift our hands. Let's just lift our hands and just give God praise. Hallelujah. Let's just give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Sometimes we might not even sing a song, but come on, let's just give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Do you have something to be thankful for? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, lift your voice and say, thank you, Lord. I just want to, I just want to. See, he woke you up this morning. Somebody didn't even wake up this morning. You, that is something to be thankful for. Come on, lift your voice and say, thank you. Thank hey. you. We got so much to be thankful for. Lord. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of a pandemic crisis, Lord, thank you. Thank you. You preserved me. You kept me. You watched over me. You let no danger come, Lord. danger seen or unseen. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say thank you. My son coming over the dangerous highway. Hallelujah. To make it home. And I just want to say. I just want to thank you, Lord. Come on, tell somebody you've been so good. You've been so So you've been so good to me you've when I didn't even deserve it. Ah. So you've been my keeper. Hallelujah. Good. You've been a bridge Hallelujah. over troubled water. And I said, thank you, Lord. Oh, sure. so good. When I was on my way to a devil's hell. I just want to, I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. How many remember when he saved my soul? You saved That's my favorite right there. Hallelujah. 
We all haven't been saved all our lives. You saved my soul. You, saved you gave me chance after chance after chance. Hallelujah. He's not only a God of a second chance. He's a God of a million chances. My shut up. Whoa, you saved my soul. Saved my soul. You snatched me from the pit of hell. <laughs> and I just want to thank you. I just oh, want yeah, no, 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 to thank yeah. you, Lord. Come on, one more time. Now, everybody lift your voice and say thank you all over the building. Thank Come on. Thank you. Lord, we thank you this Lord. morning. Hallelujah. Lord, we can say that we appreciate everything that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you put food on our table, clothes on our back. Huh? Hallelujah. Lord. I like what Bishop always says from point A to point C. Hallelujah. That's the kind of God we serve. Thank you. Thank my, my, my. you. Lord, I thank you. Lord. I just want to, I just want Come on. to thank, I just want to thank, I just want to thank, you made a way out of no way, I just want to thank, you loose the chains that had me bound, I just want to thank, can you place my feet on solid ground? I just want to thank. I want to thank you, Lord. I just want uh, to thank. You made ways out of no ways. I just want to thank. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Come on, come on, take a few seconds. Come on, take a few seconds and give him praise. Hallelujah. That's the kind of God we serve. He is a way maker. Hallelujah. He is a miracle working God. Hallelujah. He's our healer this morning. Our provider. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just want to thank you, Lord. Bye, 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 bye. Come on, somebody put your hand together. <laughs> On the Lord for his loving kindness, his tender mercies that are unfailing. It's a wonderful thing, the Bible says, he that married, let him sing. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I just need just a melody of a song and the words of a song that would put me in a different atmosphere, another place. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. If you do, just raise your hand. Look across the aisle and tell somebody, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Many times when it seems like your world is coming apart and uh, you don't know what to do and which way to turn, but sometimes our eternal God would just drop a song, just a song in your heart. And you're really not singing, you're just humming that song. You follow me? You can be in the house, workplace, in the automobile, and just begin to hum that song, begin to sing the song. And now it's the Lord beginning to minister to you and letting you know that everything is going to be all right. And you find that you, all that pain that you felt and sorrow that you felt and downcast that you felt, now it, Lord, has just turned around and, and just lifts you up. Hallelujah. I, I, can, I, can, I can empathize with David, that, that sweet psalms of Israel, when he would play those songs and when he was on the run from... Uh, uh, the king, King Saul, tried to take his life prematurely, and he would write some of those songs about the experiences that he had gone through. 
Can we say hallelujah one more time? So I want you to know, my brother and sister, we come in and give God praise through song. Many times those songs put us in that place where God has brought us out. And I don't know about you, but there's been times that the only things that we had was a song. Hmm? And you know what? We would, we would claim those songs as our own. If somebody would hear somebody sing a song in testimony service. We'd say, they're singing my song. <laughs> but what they are doing, they are identifying with that composer in terms of what they were going through, what they were experiencing. And we certainly know that our God is of no respect of person. And many times, my brother and sister, uh, God just gives us a little encouragement by just dropping that song in our heart. And we come to the realization what we're doing, and my, we say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I, I praise you. Lord, I lift you up. Because I know that you are still concerned about our welfare, our well-being. And you know what? David was not uh, worried about what other folks thought. You recall the time they were so elated about what God had done. They began to dance, and the Bible says he danced out of his tunic. Can we see hallelujah? But he was praising and magnifying God for what God has done. I I'd like to think that he was probably re reminiscing about all those times and all those tears and all those cloudy days, but yet God had brought him through. And he had a reason to dance, a reason to praise and magnify God. Look across the aisle and tell somebody, you don't know my story. <laughs> you don't know why I raise my hand. You don't know why I clap my hands. You don't know why I say hallelujah and praise God. My, my, my. You, you can't praise him for me. You can't dance for me. You can't sing for me. And I'm not going to let any opportunity slip through my grasp. So, so often, you know, I, 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 so often we, we, we wish that we had sung our song. We wish that we had clapped our hands. We wish we had raised our hands up. But when it's all over, you can't go back. But while the blood is yet running warm in your veins, while you have opportunity to glorify your God, my, 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 I would certainly advise you to do it. You know what? A lot of praises have got us through a lot of difficulties in life. I'm not talking loud enough. Our testimonies that God has given us not only for us individually, but also those individuals that hear us. Am I talking loud enough? Somebody has heard what God has done for you and said, wait a minute, I'm going through the same difficulty. If God has done it for brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, I know that God can what? He can look across the aisle and tell somebody, do it for me, God. Now, now put your hand together. At yeah, this time, my brothers and sisters, it would normally be offering time. Look at your neighbor and say offering time. Offering now let's, let's get happy about offering time. <laughs> the Bible emphatically reminds us that God will bless the cheerful giver. That word cheerful means hilarious. And when you think of somebody that is hilarious, they're, they're doing something. There is some external emotion that is being displayed, and we have, it's an observation. So what I'm saying this morning, we are going to use our usual practice, and that means at this time of uh, COVID-19, we take opportunity to utilize that online giving, that online giving. So I'm asking that uh, what you will do is give your offering and tithing online giving. Now, those of you that want to give this morning in service, they will have a container for you in the back. So as you exit, go ahead and drop your offering there. But also those that will give uh, electronically, we ask that you give it on, online. Can we say praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? Now, also that we pray during the time of offering that God will bless you and God will meet those needs according to his riches 
in glory. So I'm asking that you will stand at this time. Will you stand with us? You stand with us. And then also, if you have a personal need that you want God to bless you with, don't be afraid. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Say, God, I want you to recognize my needs. I'm putting my hands up. Sometimes it's uh, that physical need, that psychological need, that emotional need, that social need, that spiritual need. But God, that need, that need, that need, that need. And I don't know about you, but I got some needs. Am I talking loud enough? That need. And always understand, always understand that you have to sow if you want to grow. So keep that in mind. Any endeavor in your life, you got to sow something if you want to grow. So I'm, I'm saying this morning, my brother and sister, whatever that need is, in your spirit, just tell God right now why you're here. Tell God right now. Now tell God. Now don't, don't tell God if you're not uh, going to look for it. I'm not talking hype nor hoopla this morning. You tell God what you want. Tell God. And so often we fail to tell God. Well, Pastor Frazier, God already knows. But he wants you to come to him. He wants you to express your heart and tell him. And sometimes we need a little more strength. Is that right? During this pandemic, sometimes we feel overwhelmed. We feel anxious. We feel trepidation. And we just need God to come by and just touch. Not down the street. That's all right. But God, you know where my address is. I want you to come by and knock on my door so I can let you in. And just do what you desire to do. Am I talking loud enough? Hmm? Hmm? Say, Lord, I just need just a little more, little more help. Hmm? Lord, I, 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 feel, I feel out of place, but I just need some help. Just need some help. All right. Now, bow your head with me, if you will. Father, we come before you in that name of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh God, that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing, O oh God, that we cannot contain. We pray, O oh God, do those things that the world says is impossible. We pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, if it's employment, open up that door. If it's healing, stretch out your hands, O oh God. If it's deliverance, O oh God, speak a word. It's all we need just to hear your divine word. We pray, O oh God, and we feel like we're down in the dumps. We feel those cloudy days. We feel alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't know what to do. Come by, O oh God, and breathe on us. Let your presence, O oh God, be known. We pray in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, to realize that we're not the victim, but we're, the vic we're victorious. Help us, O oh God, to realize, O oh God, it's a time to stand up and let the light that you put inside us shine bright. Let us not bow our heads down at this time of pandemic. But Lord, to trust and believe in your divine word. Father, today, today, bless these in the name of Jesus as they seed in anointed ground. Bring them, O oh God, a harvest. We ask, O oh God, whatever that might be, we're trusting in you, for your hands are more qualified than ours to manage the affairs of our life. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you for what you've done right now and what you're going to do in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Put your hands together and celebrate here. prayed we have asked him and now let us believe it the bible tells us that one that one seeds and one waters and god what god gives the increase god gives the increase ah hallelujah we're still having church this morning sister sarah bless your heart this morning ah glory hallelujah can you give us one of those songs? I'm going to let you pick it out this morning. Amen. 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 Put your hand together for Sister Sarah, if you will. Mm -hmm. I want to say this morning that you're going to see some changes in these type of services. All right? So expect it. So expect it. Amen. Amen. Sister Sarah, you can use this mic right here. I got one here. I'll let you take it off. Thank you, thank you. I'll let you take it off. Come on, put your hands together for your sister. If I, if I could sing, I'd jump out there and sing it too. Mm -hmm. Am I talking loud enough? You see, one thing about being in church and coming to church, church ought not to be boring. Am I talking loud enough? 
Now, just because you may not want to wave your hands, may want to cut your step, don't, don't, don't do, look down on somebody else that's going to do it. Because mm -hmm. when you look back over your life and see what God has done for you, how can we? Such a sermon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cold. By your head, heavy burdens be beneath a load of guilt and shame. The hands of Jesus touch me. And right now, I'm no longer the same. He, he touched me. He Sister Sarah, does your, does your children sing like that too? All right. My, 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 my. Aren't you glad this morning for the touch of the Lord? My, my, my. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sure in this life that we have been touched by so many things. But there's nothing like the touch of the eternal God. Mm, mm, mm. He touched me. He touched me. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. My God, my God. So, to Sarah, that's a good sermon. My, my, my. You, you, preachers, you preachers out there, he touched me. My, my, my. And I couldn't see my way through, he touched me. I feel like my world was coming apart. He touched me. I needed strength in my dark hour. He touched me. Oh, hallelujah. And I, I, no longer the same. I think, I think in this time of crises, this time of COVID-19, this pandemic that's all over the world, I think the world needs a touch our Savior, Jesus Christ. My God, my God. And I think, put your seatbelt on, y'all may not say amen on this one. I think a lot of us need to be retouched. My God, my God, my God. And sometimes we, we lose focus. We lose focus in, in uh, this pandemic and we fail to understand that God is yet in control. And many times we are consumed by our personal worry. Am I talking loud enough? We're consumed by it. And as a result of that, we have a tendency of being reserved rather than giving God praise and glory. I want you to understand, my brother and sister, yet, right now, right now, God knows what he's doing. And really, can't anything happen to you unless God permit it? And you take time, take time to read Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 1. Not right now. <laughs> but take time at your leisure to check it out, check it out. Everything that you're going through right now, God already knows. Every difficulty, he has already been out in front of you. The problem is that we try to get in front of God. Am I talking a lot enough? So keep in mind, my brothers and sisters, when God touch you, touches your heart, your mind, your spirit, it in actuality puts you in line with him, with him, his plan, what he has for your life. He hasn't abandoned you because you felt some turbulence in your life. He hasn't abandoned you. But that means, that means that we need to draw closer to him. He has all of the love, he has all the care that you can possibly need, you can possibly imagine. I want you to understand this morning that God is God. He has no rival. There's no one that can compare to him. He is God all by himself. He is God par excellence. Hallelujah. He is the potentate. Everything that we need comes by and in our God. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah again? This morning, my brothers and sisters, let us gather our hearts and our minds and our thoughts that somehow or another we will hear the penetrating word of the Lord that will give us strength in a time of weakness, that will let us know that he has not abandoned us in this pandemic, this crises that are going all around the world. I told someone the other day with loving attention, someone had lost a family member out of state, and I talked with them, and I told them, I said, now, I don't say this to hurt, to bring about more pain and discomfort, but I say it that you might hear God's word. There's a scripture in the book of Hebrews that declares that it's once appointed unto man die then he says after judgment 
And I said as much as we petition the throne of our God to heal and bring about a miracle, the Bible says that uh, it's once appointed. Now, note what he says, not to die twice, but once appointed. And I gave reference to this grieving family member that what God does when he hears us, whether healing or miracle, he is only extending mercy and grace of life because all of us have to leave here. The key thing